Hetepu. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Haru Nefer. This is Kasank Ma Keparu with another video for you. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how to do a money draw ritual. And this ritual will allow um, your person to attract an abundance of money. All right. That's the purpose of this. Now, before I go into the video, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching. Also, I want you to know that there's only about two days left. Hear me now, two days left to get a copy of my ebook, The New Kepara Ankh, which is the secret key to manifesting your own reality. And in that book, I go over a lot of secret rituals similar to this, where you can draw money to you or you can shift to a parallel reality where you are rich, where you have an abundance of everything in your life. And remember, um, when we say abundance, we just don't equate that to money. Uh, abundance is the ability to, to do what you need to do when you need to do it. All right. So keep that in mind. And I actually, um, in the book, detail out how what you really want is the power behind it, not actually the money, which is a talisman, but you want the ability to manifest money whenever you need it or to manifest abundance. Okay. So let's take a look here and I'll explain and go through this. And as I said before, um, this is kind of covered in my book, The New Kepra Ankh. So it's only $39.95. I'm pulling it off the market after two, two days, after the pre-sale is over. And it comes with a 30-minute consultation. So definitely take advantage of that opportunity. Sorry to uh, uh, harp on that point, but I just want to make sure you guys get that book because I think it's phenomenal. It's like no other work I produce. All right, so let's go into this ritual here. Now, what you'll see here is a talisman. And this is Jap from the Japanese occult of black magic, or um, this was put together by um, a Taoist sorcerer. Um, so you, this is basically for attracting uh, money, all right? So if you know anything about talisman, they're very powerful and they contain symbolism, secret words. And I practice a lot of stuff like um, that is from the East, such as Kuji Kiri. And that is intertwining of the hands and, uh, you know, connecting the meridians to um, unblock certain passages so that the wealth can flow. So anyway, um, let's get down to this. Um, we have the, uh, the statue of Ma'at. And I have two here, one of her seated right here. And I have a, a candle, and it's a red candle. Now, it's not the correct color, but it still can work. You, you want either blue or green. Uh, but red is good because red is uh, fiery. So that will get you moving if you're starting a business or something of that nature. And so what, what you want to do with the talisman here is... Um, you want to charge it and there's different ways of charging it, but I'm not going to go into that right now because it's covered um, in my other material. But what I'll do is I'll anoint it with some money draw oil. OK, so and what I do to anoint it is I just dab it on to the talisman itself. OK, and that will um, charge it. Now, one of the other things about charging it is I have crystals and stones here. OK, as you see these and these are relating to business and drawing money. I'm um, very entrepreneurial. And this is my wand. And it's a very powerful wand because every time I pick this up, I can feel the energy in it. And sometimes I can't hold it for too long because it'll start to hurt. So I've charged this over many years. And crystals are good for charging, all right? Uh, they get programmed with whatever information that um, you put into them. And if you have stones around them, they'll get charged with these stones. And as you know, I have a speaker here. And this is going to be blasting out a mantra that attracts wealth. Um, the other thing that I have, and I hope you guys can see this well, I mean, my camera's not shaking, <laughs> is money draw uh, powder, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of the powder and just sprinkle it over here, okay? And that should do well with that, all right? And it's, the powder is good to keep on you. You can rub it on your, your person. Um, you can put it in your wallet, you know, powder, so you can attract some more money, all right? Now, uh, the last thing I think is incense, and I have money draw incense. So as you see here, it's uh, green. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just uh, put that in there. There we go. And what I like to do is, for example, I may take my wand and pass it through the incense to charge it even further. 
or I may take um, the crystals or stones and, and do the same thing, you know? All right. And what you want to do with this is I'm putting some more on here uh, so it all can permeate. So it'll even pass the talisman through it as well. OK, what you want to do here um, is, is is chant. Spend at least about 15 to 30 minutes chanting the mantra. So that's why the speaker is here, chanting the mantra and then visualize yourself coming into money. Now, there, there are other things that you have to be aware of and do. All right. And that's a reading. And I have some calorie shells here, and these are good for doing uh, oracle readings. And uh, the first reading you want to do is asking the oracle, um, are you able to, or if the venture you're involved with, whether it be a business or trying to save money for a particular objective, is that going to be fruitful? And when you do it, you, you just toss the calorie shells, and depending on how they land, you interpret it. And it'll tell you if what you're embarking on is going to be successful or not. Now, after you do the ritual itself, what I do, uh, and most um, shaman and priests will do, is I was just putting some more incense in there, is do a final reading or a mid-ritual reading. And the purpose of that is to say, okay, I've done this ritual. Is there anything else I need to do that will gain favor from you, Ma'at, so that you may bless me with abundance. Sorry, I got cut off there. That you may bless me with abundance, okay? So you would do that reading, and depending on how they land, you can see if your, um, your ritual was successful or not. And uh, if it was, then you can close out the ritual. If it wasn't, then you'll have to do another reading on what the goddess will need in order to appease her. Because what you're appealing to is the energy. And that energy um, is intelligent. So you have to make sure that it has everything it needs to work on your behalf. Now, we can call this energy what Vadim Zelim says, and he's a quantum physicist, which is a pendulum, you know, or a thought form, a thought energy. And it could work to your favor or it could work to your detriment. So keep that in mind, all right? So with this, we can close this ritual out, and sometimes I'll say, I'm in Ra. Now, um, you may want to do this ritual on a Thursday, which is Ma'at's day, and it's Jupiter's day. Jupiter is a very expansive planet. That Jupiterian energy will help you in attracting money, and Jupiter has a very big gravitational pull, all right? So keep that in mind. So I hope this has been a benefit and help to you. This is Kasak Ma Keparu, Sonatu Tiamat, and until my next video, Amen Ra.